Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you have not been here before, this is Janelle's Ave, and tonight we are going live doing reviews. You guys know I usually do reviews way earlier than this, so this is my late night review. Not too late, but it's late enough for me. So if you're up and you're looking at hair pages, welcome to mine. <laughs> so today I will be reviewing the 613 lace front wig. And this one, I have the 18 inches. It came in this pretty packaging. It is from the... Nothing. No goodies this time, you guys. So this one, you just get what you pay for, the wig. So Today, I will be coloring it with this color conditioner. So this might be a two-part. So depending on how it looks... After I rinse this out, I may let it dry overnight and then do it again in the morning. Because it says it gets darker each wash. So right now it'll be the blonde and it'll be the second one. And I might do the ends or something for the other wash. And I'll read the instructions and everything. But first, this is my wig stand. Handy to wig stand. It wasn't as tall as I thought it would be, but it's tall enough where I'm sitting down. And I also have the wig head. This one is 21. Perimeter. Diameter. 21. <laughs> um, so this is the wig. 18 inches. It's 13 waist front. So this is the wig itself. I got the straight one this time. As you guys remember, the last one I did was a little curly. So this one is straight. Um, this one did come pre-plucked. I love. Save me a little hassle later on. And this also came with four clips. One in the back. One on each side. One in the front. Right behind the lace. And this is a 4 by 13 closure. And I also put on the wig head just to show you guys a little bit better. As you can see, it is pre-plucked for you, which is amazing. They pre-plucked and gave you baby hairs. Oops, gave you baby hairs. And the whole thing is pre-plucked for you right around the perimeter. Saves you light, a lot of work. As you can see, this is really easy. If you want to just put it on, you can. But I want to color it because I never colored a wig by myself. So first, I'm going to be using the Shimmer Light Shampoo Blonde and Silver. Um, when I used it before, I didn't really do anything because I think I didn't do it right. So this time, I'm going to read the instructions with you guys. So it says, it's wet hair, lather, rinse, and repeat for extra brightening and color. Leave um, second lather on for three to five minutes. So I'm going to wash it twice before I put the color on there. And then while that is drying, well, sitting, I'll read the color conditioner. Conditioner, that's what they call it. On there, and I actually got the color mocha. So, I'm going to lather the wig really quick. And the hair was very soft, um, which is great. It wasn't shedding or anything like that. Right now I'm running the water through before I put the what's it called again? The shimmer light shampoo in there. A little bit before I put the mocha conditioner on there. So there we go. The wig is nice and lathered. I'm using cold water as well. So I'm gonna get a good amount of the shimmer lights shampoo. And when I'm rubbing it in my wigs, I do not like how your hair goes like this. No, I just like smooth it on there like that. Lather it. I don't want to tangle up the hair. This is, like I said, this is my first time coloring my wig, so I pray it comes out right. <laughs> That's why I got the conditioner instead of actually having to color it, just because I never did it before. I need a little bit more water on here. I need some more shampoo as well. Now feel free to ask questions or give me tips if you color wigs before. 
Um, like I said, this is my first time in the late night review. Just having fun. Up late, might as well be productive. So we saw the wig before, so let's see if this actually makes a difference at all. Okay, I'm gonna rinse the first one out. I think it's turning like a silvery color. <laughs> but I don't know yet, I'm trying to rinse all the shampoo out that I put in there. So when you're washing it, make sure you just go like this. You can also use a brush, but I wanted to use my hand. So this is what it looks like so far, kind of like giving me like a silver tone. You can tell I kind of didn't do an even job, but it's okay. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do one more layer, try to get it a little bit more even. And then leave it on for a few minutes and then read the instructions for the conditioner. Okay, so next we're going to read the instructions for this conditioner. So I definitely recommend this shampoo, honestly. Um, if Whether on your regular hair or on your weaves it makes your hair like lighter you know you get more of a blonde silver tone so a better base to add a color so the um 613 was a little too yellow probably for me for adding the mocha color so i made it a little bit more blondish silver color so let me open up the conditioner i ordered this right off of amazon this cost me about 22 dollars um it says the care color color plus conditioner mocha color cleansing addition deposit color pigments maintain hu hues and prevents fading um color while you cleanse this is a non um, lavic conditioning cleanser designed to instantly infuse color into your hair with every wash Add stunning hues, maintain vibrancy, and kick up the color between salon visits. Um, so I think I'm just going to do the two washes, one wash today, let it air dry, and then wash it tomorrow. But not like, I won't apply it to the whole wig. If I remember, I'm probably just do the end or something. Um, then it's open for directions. So once again, this is what it looks like. I started out with the 613. I use the Shimmer Light Shampoo. So it's going to be a little bit lighter than this when I start. Then it's going to come out hopefully around this color brown. And then I'm going to do the ends tomorrow after I let it air dry. So I'll come back live when I'm ready to install the wig and everything. Hopefully I can do it this weekend for you. Um, on the back, it says highlight it. Um, it's not recommended just for highlights. Um, light blonde hair, not recommended, okay. Medium to dark blonde hair, as warm hues brown. So if your hair wasn't platinum blonde or 613 blonde, you can still add it to your hair color. It'll just give you a little bit more of a definition in there, but won't do that much. Um, if you have brown hair, it definitely adds more depth to it. Um, white or gray hair don't recommend it so it made my wig a little gray so we will see how this works see all i know is i wanted to shampoo it first and then add a conditioner and literally i should have read the conditioner before i colored it so we're going to pray it works out amazing pray this is like my late night review me having fun mixing up a little bit of everything see what happens okay so once I rinse off this shampoo, it says saturate with water, add a generous amount of the color, conditioner. If applying to the entire head of head hair, comb from roots to ends. I'm not combing it, I'm using my hands because it's easier. Um, then it says if you're applying to specific areas, you can just run through with your fingers. So like I said, if you want to just put on your hair yourself, like through the ends or something, or just the roots, you can just, you know, get in there. Um... It says leave on for about 3 to 20 minutes and then rinse thoroughly. Um, for maximum intensity, do multiple applications until you reach your desired color. So like I said, you can keep rinsing your hair with the conditioner, with a conditioner, 
and it'll keep getting darker each time because you're adding more pigments into your hair. Um, to maintain and achieve tone, alter alternate. So like some days use this conditioner, some days use your regular clin conditioner so that it doesn't darken if you want to maintain that color you found that you enjoy. Um, it says on virgin hair, more consecutive washes and longer processing time may be needed. So if you don't normally color your hair, if your hair is kind of dark, you may need to do it a few more times. You may need to leave it on longer just for a heads up. One thing I wish it said, if this is permanent. Because it says you keep adding color, it gets darker. So that means it's permanent? That's a question I have for them. So I'm going to find out that answer before the next video that I do with you guys. So that um, we know together if this is permanent. Because for me, I want to color my real hair. But if this is permanent, I'm not going to do it. So... Time to rinse out the Shimmer Light Shampoo. I think next time I'm going to color it while it's on my mannequin head with the shampoo. Because I don't think I did an even job. But I won't know until it's fully dry. <laughs> so, like I said, my professional. This is a late night video of me reviewing the products. Honestly, I'm an amateur. So we live and learn together. When in doubt, I'll buy another wig and show you guys again. This stuff works so fast, you guys. I love that you see instant results with this uh, Shimmer Shine Shampoo. So I got all of the um, Shimmer Light Shampoo out of my 613 wig. As you guys can see, it's more like a gray tone now. And also, you can tell I'm not a professional. Um, it's not even, but it's okay. I'm coloring it anyway. So hopefully it works out right. If anything, I'll just style it a different way to make it look like I did it on purpose. <laughs> so, 10 out of 10 recommend the, sh recommend the Shimmer Light Shampoo. It definitely lightens and tones your hair. You get the little gray tone. So, if you're going for just the gray tone, um, use the Shimmer Lights. They also have the silver conditioner. So, if you want to like make a little bit brighter and more even, you can just use the conditioner. I'm using the Mocha. So, I'm just going to wring this water out a little bit more. And then add the conditioner. Hopefully, I apply that a little bit more evenly and it comes out a little bit better than the shimmer lights. But like I said, the shimmer lights 10 out of 10 instantly works, see instant results and everything. So, after doing all this conditioning from the shampoo, it did start shedding a little bit, you guys. But I don't know if it's because I'm not using a comb and I'm being a little rough with it. I honestly can say just because I'm an amateur. So. But still, not that much shedding. Literally, minimal shedding. Looks like a lot because the follicles are very long, but it's really not that much. See? Just because the hair is long. Okay, next I'm going to add the color conditioner. So let's open this up. How do you open this? Oh, yes, that way. I'm always terrible at opening these things. How do you? I swear they make these things. Like, you ever just get tired of, like, scrolling through this thing and just want to just pop it off? I know I do. Oh, I think I'm getting somewhere. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I think I actually wasn't screwing it, but it's okay. So this is the conditioner. Going to, oh, look how dark that is. I think I'm going to start with the ends first and work my way up. And then this says you have to leave it on for, um, I think it was five to 20 minutes, depending on the tone you're going for. But I learned to start from the ends because, as you guys can see from the shimmer lights, I am bad at applying anything to hair besides heat. I'm good at heat, but color, I'm still learning this. Oh, got it all on my counter. I like completely like missed my hand. And for y'all laughing me, yes, I have my contacts in. I can see what's going on. Um, while applying this, it don't look like it's really doing anything, honestly. I think I need way more, but this is what it looks like so far while I'm trying to add it on there. It might take a while to develop. Hopefully it develops well. Oh, can't believe I got it all over there. Um being as though it is a wig and not on my actual head. So stick, stick, I move, move. 
gonna do okay. But I look both ways. I really wonder what color is gonna be because I put like a mocha on like a gray tone. But then again, they color gray people hair all the time. So let's see what happens. It really doesn't say how much to add. It said add like a generous amount. So I'm just gonna keep on going until I think I put enough in there. Maybe the next one I get, that 613, I'll just put it directly on there without trying to use the Shimmer Light Shampoo. But like I said, I wanted to see what the Shimmer Light Shampoo do, or does, and what's all the hype about. But I see the hype. I like it. Just let's see if it was the best decision to do with this color method I'm doing right now. So I'm just lathering it up still. Can you guys see the difference? I can't really see it while I'm putting it on there. Like I said, I don't know if it's because I'm putting it on there. Okay. I don't know what happened if I use like the whole bottle. <laughs> but I look a little even on this side now, guys. I'm trying to like get it all throughout that. It's like that. And another way I want to color is like the hats they have and you just like poke the holes through the plastic cap and then you pull the hair through. I'm going to try that one day. I wonder if this will work with that. I'm starting to see some difference in the top, you say? Starting to come along. That's great. So, starting to add a generous amount on the front along the the hairline so right now I'm just like putting on like the tip of my fingers and just going around and putting it on the scalp area or the laces the lace frontal just to get some darker roots in the front see next time I'm definitely going to put this on my wig head I just didn't feel like doing it because I already started without it. So let's just see how this turns out. I'm really excited to see the random color in my bed. At this point, I really do not know how much I actually use. I've just been going and going. <laughs> but I wanted the front to get dark. Just like that. So I think I did like an even tone across the front. Let me put some right here. I'm gonna let it fully air dry so that it um goes evenly. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more throughout the back part. You see like the front is way darker than the back, so I'm gonna put a little bit more back here and then let it sit for a few more minutes. But you can tell that it's starting to develop a little bit, which is amazing. And then depending on how it looks, I may wash it again tomorrow. And if I don't wash it tomorrow, I'll probably install this wig tomorrow. So either I'll be back live tomorrow installing it, or I'll be back tomorrow um, doing one more wash. Well, I won't actually come back live with this wig if it's not ready tomorrow. Another few more wigs coming for reviews for you guys. I'm excited. Guys, I like this wig. Look at the color development so far. It's starting to get a little better. I did the darker roots at the end with the conditioner. And then I'm starting to go along the back right now. And add a little bit more. So I have to put a little bit more back here. Get a little bit more even. And then let it sit for about 20 minutes and then... Let it air dry and I'll come back tomorrow, like I said, hopefully, if I don't have to um, do another layer. So, pray I don't got to do another layer. I did a good enough job tonight and I can just install it for you guys tomorrow. If not, it'll be one more day before I come back and install this unit. I think it's coming out great. Can't wait to see the one. Feel free to ask questions about what I'm doing if you just tuned in. Um... Just a heads up again, this is an 18 inch 613 lace front, 13 by 14 wig. I am I use the Shimmer Light Shampoo on there. 
I'm currently moisturizing it with the conditioner and I'm going to rinse it out and it's the mocha color. So I made a little bit more of a brown, like a grayish tint, added the conditioner on here. Like I said, it did shed a little bit when I was running my hands through it earlier. But like I said, I think it's because it was like a little tangled from me, just tangling it. And then once you guys feel so you have enough in there, like I said, it's hard to tell with this conditioner when you have enough because it develops as it sits before you rinse it out. And also, um, it develops as it sits. And then the more you wash it with this conditioner, the darker it gets. So the more you put on there, like the more washes you do, the darker it gets. So even if you don't get the result you want the first time, uh, wash it again the next wash cycle I want to do it the same day just so your hair gets a little break because it is color you're putting color in your hair's chemicals wait a day do it again when you eventually find a color you like don't condition it again because it will get darker take a break use the regular conditioner and then when it starts to fade a little bit then go back and use the conditioner so next time or whenever you guys do this, I do recommend don't do it in your sink like I am. <laughs> Put your wig on your wig head like I have right here and I didn't use. Put a plastic bag or a plastic cap on here first. And then evenly put your shimmer lights in there because um, it does lighten the hair. So we'll lighten it unevenly if you do not put it in evenly, if that makes sense. Like me, I always like. Oh, here we go slap slap one spot start developing i fixed it though but um yeah so use your wig head for the conditioner same thing if you want to use your um hairbrush the little applicating brush you can use that put in there like this regular um hair color hair dye it's up to you just depending on how you're doing if you have a shortcut just it'll go my as long like this take your time take your time so my front is starting to develop really good. Um, went away a little longer. I think I might put a little bit more on here actually, but like I said, it's too soon to know if I need to. That's the whole problem. Thanks you guys for tuning in. I'm not gonna make you wait the 20 minutes. Um, I'll wait the 20 minutes. I'll be back with a part two, so make sure you follow. You like this vil, vil, uh, You like this video. I'm sorry, it's late night. So it's gonna be a part two. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like this channel, you like my recent post. You leave comments for me under previous posts. Let me know if you need help, like questions or need help with anything, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I'm gonna head out. It's super late. I'm getting tired. Um. And I'll give you the update when this wig is ready to be on my head. See you guys.